I'm now going to take a look at uh, some piston to valve clearance and a little valve train geometry. For that I'm going to use uh, an old lifter that I welded the top up. The reason I did that is you don't want to recess while you have spring pressure on it. And you can see on the engine we fitted a guide plate and some studs. And on top there is a oil restrictive push rod. This is a 5 16 inch push rod, uh, thick walled from Mondello's. And the reason I went with this is because a 3 ace can run into uh, interference on the stock head. And you'll see shortly that we're going to put a roller tip rocker on here. I wanted to run full rollers, but to do that you have to have this surface milled off. And I didn't feel like going through all that, uh, that expense at this point in time. Hopefully uh, in a later video I'll be putting some Edelbrock performers on this engine. Alright, I got uh, my dial indicator all set up on the retainer. I'm going to be taking a look at max lift on this intake valve and I'm also going to be taking a look at piston the valve clearance. So here we are uh, at about top dead center. You can see there's just a ton of clearance, not, not an issue at all. This is about 45 degrees on the crank after a ton. Here's max lift. This cam's got about, uh, uh, it's about a 494 lift on the intake. So you got over 125 thousandths. There's really a ton of piston to valve clearance on this intake. And we'll do the same thing with the exhaust and uh, make sure our clearances are all right. Here I'm setting up this uh, exhaust valve. And got my checking lifter in there that's uh, got the top welded. And you can see there's a ton of play in there. All I'm doing is basically spinning this push rod and tightening this nut until there's zero play. Right there, and uh, the lifter is on the base circle of the cam. And now I'll set up my indicator and check that one. What I just did is I took an approximation of the uh, installed height of the spring. This really isn't the best tool for it, but it's all I got. And uh, what I'm doing is I'm checking the spring pressure to make sure these springs match the cam. I bought the springs with the cam, they should, but just making sure. Here I have a Proform uh, mini spring tester for checking uh, force of springs. And I got the spring in here with a shim. And I set it to the installed height and that tells me how many pounds are on that spring when that valve is closed. Now I'm going to go ahead and crank this down until it's open at max lift and we'll see where it's at. Alright, I have my caliper set up where uh, where the spring is going to be compressed to at max lift. I'm going to go ahead and tighten up my vise so we hit that and see uh, where the spring's at. Holy shit. Here's what our spring is going to look like at max lift. Um, you can see that we don't have coil bind here. That's when the uh, spring coils touch each other. Here we're taking a look at some valve train geometry. You can see the roller tips actually hitting the tip of the valve stem a little bit towards the inside. And we're going to rotate this engine uh, to max lift and see where she ends. That's about max lift there. You can see now the roller tip is actually towards the outside of the engine. It's a little bit off, but it's not bad. I'm just going to run it. Um, a couple other things you want to check is make sure your retainer doesn't hit your seal, your valve seal. You also want to make sure there's plenty of retain clearance from your retainer to your rocker arm. Looks like we're good there.
Now that I got everything pretty much where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and put some Iski Revlu XP2000 on the cam, all the cam bulbs. I'll put it on the valve, stem tips, on the rocker balls, on the bottom of the lifters. Now I'm going to go ahead and adjust this uh, rocker arm. You see I got a little lash there. I got uh, the lifter on the base circle of the cam. So I'm just going to tighten this nut here while turning this push rod. So there's no slop in it. Right about there is zero lash. Now I'm going to go one half turn. And from this point, I'm just going to lock it down. And she's adjusted.